All right, gonna do a little video showing how to install these little wheel lights onto our trailer. The same install process you would use for any sort of bike wheel. In fact, these trailer wheels are basically a bike wheel. So I guess just to show you first, we've got a little little light, three AA batteries with copper wire copper wire lights. First thing to do, load them up with three AA batteries. And next thing to do, oh, shit. Next thing to do, is put on these little these little cable mounts. We're going to put these directly onto the back. So that we can mount these to the wheel. So all I'm doing is peeling off a little protective backing. They're self-adhesive. I should have these already on if you're getting them from us on the ride. You know, place them right on the back. Press them on real good. Now we need to actually attach these to the wheel. The best place to do it is right on the inside next to the hub. You want to find a nice spot where you can line these up. Just scoot these out where you can see it. And what you do is you go behind these little mounts and they just zip tie right on. For these, I'm using the long 8 inch zip ties because they seem to hold on a little better. And even though the mounting pads work, you don't want to rely just on the glue. Uh, it's nice to have for ease of, of changing the batteries, uh, but I always like to put one extra zip tie around, keep a couple of extra ones around the house. Uh, this makes sure that even if the glue comes off, you don't have the the light fly off and we're gonna cut all those later so the next step is to take take your lights which here's the lights on you have to unwrap them but first we're gonna wrap it wrap the the insulated portion of the wire around one of the spokes. And this is just to get it down to the edge of the, the rim where we're going to place all of our lights around the edge of the rim. It's nice to leave the wires in a bundle for this, just because it's a lot easier to slide them through the rim a little easier. Alright, now we are at the bottom. Now we need to unwrap the little, this little piece that allows us to undo the bundle of lights you 
can straighten out the whole string at this point. You have to do it kind of carefully. You want to make sure to to not kink this little copper because you strain it too much. It'll break a lot easier. So gently pull it apart. like to when I'm done I like to take it and run it through my fingers it pulls out any little small kinks makes it a little easier to deal with you can grab it wrap it around your hand makes a nice round bundle for you. So once again it's easier to pass back through the through the spokes. Now we take our small zip ties the ones I've, I've got that I've bought. A little small four inch zip ties. Nothing special. The best thing about these is they stretch a little bit which allows it to hold on to, to the small wire a lot easier. I like to secure the end. Adjust this. You can see. So secure the into the wire down to the rim and you can start moving around the rim like I, and I like to just do every other spoke but the first spoke the first one I generally go around the first two and I start skipping spokes just so that first little bit is extra tight on there. Now you can take your smaller zip ties, put it right around the end of the spoke nut. The spoke nut is the piece right on the end of the spoke. Don't actually zip tie the piece, the wire down. You can zip tie right in front of it. The zip tie will hold it on just by friction. Otherwise, you're, you're creating friction between the wire and the spoke nut, and you'll eventually wear that little insulation off, and it'll short out the wires. So you continue your way around. It helps if your rims are shiny. It helps reflect some of the light. And you just continue all the way around the wheel. Make sure to get the zip ties tight. That way they stretch around the, zip, the spoke nut a little bit. That way they don't slip. And I'm just going to go ahead and finish this up and come back. Alright, so as you can see we are complete. And 
I've got each one of these, every other one, zip tied onto the frame or onto the spokes. Sorry, cut these on, give it a spin. Now all we have to do is chop off the little ends of the zip ties. We've got nice wheel lights. Enjoy.